Central International Center for Action Sociology. A lot of action. Uh, and uh, Mr. Anil Ji, uh, he is uh, looking after the SICAS uh, and outlet. Uh, and uh, then we can have it so that you can also have some pointed questions to us, which we can further uh, discuss. So, before we get into the thick of things, let's have a tour first. <coughs> Uh, the nuances of uh, running the swing and killing the trade. And uh, these are the girls who later on get a certificate from and uh, they get into the mainstream of getting hunting for a job. This is one part of the segment of Sikasmi that we are working on enhancing the skills of the young girls. So perhaps you could also question them if you have your mind and they can answer your questions. Sorry? It's a one year certificate level course after which they get into this uh, rank race. Yes. Yeah. So after high school, so now we can go after fashion design and or we can start our own work for our girls and all. Like you're seeing type of graphics. Are you we sadly are underneath the sari? your spicy food favorite in India? Like uh, we are also on a menstrual hygiene program mm -hmm. and we like echo clubs. Mm -hmm. So we work on those lines, uh, trying to have clubs in the school who will take up the cause of sanitation, hygiene, uh, cleanliness, waste management in the schools. Mm -hmm. And from the schools we try to target the communities. When they start learning or trying to grasp the issues of government of India, trying to um, advance the state. We are also a, a jury member of selecting the schools which has the best uh, sanitation facilities. Mm. So there are a group of school students who form the sanitation clubs and these clubs will penetrate into several parts of India as well as outside. We have sanitation clubs in South Africa, Vietnam, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan and India of course we have. Mm. Used for making uh, uh, you know, affordable sanitary pads. Mm. And they will come, they make their pads and these pads are again distributed to the schools which are affiliated to the clubs. So the clubs will get sanitary pads at a cost of this thing. So this is uh, because we don't, uh, we have um, sanitary pads in the market which are um, uh, non organic and uh, they are priced at 4 rupees. Mm -hmm. uh, so this so will come here whenever they have time. Retrofitted in machines, mm -hmm. like, but in the airports and uh, your, I don't know if you in your college if you have such vending machines. Because earlier there were students from USA who said that we don't have such machines. So even if we have, it doesn't work. So the same thing here in India. Uh, so we are trying to put these machines and uh, to make it sure that it functions, we have these sanitation clubs who are operating so that it doesn't go deformed. So we uh, have uh, sanitary pads lined up here. You drop a trinity coin and you get a pad. Okay? And destroy it. Because when we talk of sanitation, it should be wholesome. It's not just providing pads, but how do they dispose it? 
because disposal of sanitary napkins is a big issue in South Asia. Therefore, we uh, make it sure that wherever we are providing these machines, we also give them an incinerator. Disposal. Incinerator. Basically, I call it incinerator because this incinerates the napkin, burns the napkin, and you have a gas. Uh, when the gas is, uh, you know, permissible limit, we have it, we follow the WHO standard. So therefore, uh, this is uh, just equal to your automobile uh, exhaust, right? This uh, cabinet and closed, and then this is uh, connected connected to the LMSP panel, and you switch it. It starts burning. After a few seconds, it's converted into ash, like, and then we can throw the ash in it. discover something which can be uh, inserted into that napkin, we will also be ready with that. So, but otherwise it is 80% uh, organic. These are wood pulp, these are not cotton, these are wood pulp. Yeah, you just have to tear this and then put it in the charging machine. The machine will rotate, will reduce the pulp into like this, floppy. And this is again put in the uh, manual pressing machine to make it give it a shape and then it is sealed there and you have a sealing machine and then it goes into that uh, chamber which uh, kills the bacteria. Oh. We put the vacuum bacteria and this ultraviolet bacteria and the bacteria is a key of germs and microbes. So uh, why we say it is uh, 80% and uh, cheaper than other napkins is because we are not using cotton. Much higher. Um, uh, so that, you know, organic napkins. So, but then I ask them if organic napkins can be sold at 4 rupees. Literature of Shakespeare's and they were using it like a toilet pot. Sit over it, play cards over it, they eat over it, and when call of nature comes, they open it and they shit over it. Like <laughs> Always remain a bucket under the table, all the waste collect there, but they were doing this. French king he was, daily spent 5 hours in that toilet, but he was not finding himself you know, productive. So he decided. 
decided to build a Kamoda drugstore. When he gave audience to the people, same time he is himself. So he was King Louis the 14th. And they have been taught how to use the Kamoda. As they play musical instrument, they paint too, and they know how to use Kamoda. Do with the chair. So no one want to go for the without moving the side of the scene. People were using this type of.
uh, invented parcel in 1970. So that is a two pit pole thrust of posting for it. These two pits are being there, we block one pit, then the other pit is being used. So block one, used one, block one. So this is simple technology. So because this museum is like, uh, we have set up this museum. Uh, so this is the practical part. Yeah, uh, this is the theoretical part. Outside, we'll see the practical one. How these two pits are being used? Yeah. Flush of water. Yeah, uh, different water sources. For solar water drilling, we collect in West Bengal. So in West Bengal, we have a place that is uh, Manusudan Kati, and we have set up a water treatment plant in that particular place. And what happened? Uh, basically, there the uh, people, people they are actually drinking that water very that is very like uh, injurious for the human health water treatment plant and then uh, the water is being purified and it is being available for the local people then i'll just like to show you these things are the same but this is for the wells and this is for the rivers and pond this is only the difference yeah rest everything is similar we have the the process is like uh, it will go through the sedimentation tank then it will go through the sand filter then it will go through the clear tank then it will uh, get uh, infected disinfected by the uv rays then it will go to that carbon filter then it is available for the people so both uh, i mean uh, what i wanted to say you people like both the uh, like you can say the water treatment plant both the things are same but there's a little difference the difference is that this is used for the wells and this is used for the rivers and ponds rest everything every process is being same either here or either there the the invention of one can build the toilet in about a few months uh, after digging two pits. There is a honeycomb structure that is easily built without any members can build it, without the help of any members can build it. And one 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 can build it. We do the preventive health care programs, we do the promotive health care pro where we see the patients and for any specialist treatment, we refer them to the nearby. 
Now, in addition to this, we are also doing many programs on the health hygiene and preventive health care. And uh, from time to time with the various uh, government agencies and the international agencies. That's it. Okay. Happy New Year, sir. Happy New Year, sir. How are you? Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you. It's been an honor to be here. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It's not India, it's not only in Vietnam only, but all the countries. Then the public toilets also need many countries. Many countries don't know even today. In South of uh, Ghana, in Ghana we have installed toilets to show to the public. So this is the one story of the sanitation system. The other story is very, very intricate and very, very question of human rights. All untouchables. They can touch dogs. They can have dogs in their laps, allow them to sleep with them. Not all dogs are some dogs. But they will not touch you only. So that was the situation to the people who used to clean night soil. The night soil world came in America in 1860. Because the demon never used to come in the night to, to collect the money skin tie. It had been 70 till it started this moment. And then the road is the site. And all these things you see in the site of the campus. So thank you for coming. Now, just enjoy first. And I would like to ask you to शनि महाराज की बहन है भगवान कृष्ण की चतुर्थ पटवारी कालिंदी जी तो प्रयाग कुंड यमुना तटेवा सरस्वती कुंड जले गुहायाम यो योगी नाम ध्यान कथो तस्मे नमा श्री रविनंदना है यानी उद्गम से लेकर संगम तक जो माँ यमुना के तट पर शनि महाराज के जिनके वक्र जैसे साढ़े साथी डैया होती है यदि वो जातक किसी भी रूप में माँ यमुना के सानिध्य में जो है एक पल भी अगर यमुना जी के तट पर शनि महाराज का प्राण प्रिय प्रम से सरे मंत्र का जाप करता है उसको कल युग के दया जी सो ही है आपके ऊपर जो है आपके सुख और समृद्ध स्वास्थ्य निरोगी काया की हम प्रार्थना करते हैं